In this demo, we'll show how Pomerium can proxy and authenticate TCP connections to several common services. We begin by confirming that the Pomerium proxy service is responding for the endpoints we'll connect to. Next, we'll configure our local SSH configuration to use the Pomerium CLI to tunnel connections to our protected servers. As we initiate our first connection, the CLI opens our browser to authenticate us from our identity provider. Back at our terminal, we can see in the logs that our connection was redirected to the authorized service. After authenticating, our TCP connection over HTTPS was allowed. After confirming the host key, we can connect to our server. Next, we'll connect to our Redis instance. Our browser cookie is still valid, so we don't need to provide our username and password to the identity provider. Back at the terminal, we can interact with the Redis server using Redis CLI as if we were directly connected. Making a new connection to the same endpoint will reuse our authentication to this route. Back in our Logging tab, we can confirm that the TCP connection is once again proxied over HTTPS.